I've built my own MCP server. It can access your file system and do things like large code base exploration. Read a lot of files, explore everything, read readmes, create documentation for you and draw high-level diagrams that allow you to understand the repositories quickly. And I use it this way frequently. So let's do just that. And let's do that with a repository of its own code. So let's copy the path name. Let's put it here. And then I will use Super Whisper to dictate what I want it to do. Here is a code repository. I want you to explore it throughoutly and then use Mermaid.js diagrams to create high-level diagrams that will explain to me how it works, what it does, and where is what. Yeah, let's give it a try. So it listed files in the directory. Now it wants to read a file. So it read readme. It read package.json with dependencies. It read it listed files in source directory. It read index file, server file, terminal manager, command manager. It read files in tools folder, schemas. So it basically goes through a bunch of files and reads them. And now it starts to do a diagram. And this is something that Cursor and Windsor don't do out of the box. And something that I kind of like about Claude in this sense. You get ability to show visual artifacts like web pages or diagrams right in this window. Diagrams are finished, I think we can take a look. So it generated, what, six diagrams. There is one component diagram, one more, a more detailed one. There is sequence execution, uh, there is sequence diagram for execution of terminal commands and processes. There is file editing operations, sequence diagram. There is file operations and security, block diagram, and another one for server architecture. Here, I gave a code base to Claude. It went through a bunch of files, read them, and made for me this documentation and diagrams that allow me to quickly understand what is the repository, what is what, and how it works. And I use this for documentation, for sharing like diagrams of what I did or looking at what others did through these kinds of diagrams. In this case, everything is correct. I see these models making mistakes in these kinds of things less and less. You still need to go and check yourself, but it really gives you a very quick, high-level understanding of approximately how the code base works.